I'm Mel Alder, and today we are sitting high in the 2023 Ram 2500 Rebel. This new lifestyle off-road trim for the Ram Heavy Duty brings some serious excitement and some serious style. It's lined up between the working Ram Bighorn and the more enthusiast off-road Ram Power Wagon. The new Ram Rebel brings some compromises so you get a bit of both. Built on the bones of the solid Ram Power Wagon, the Rebel equips similar off-road protections and capabilities while also offering impressive towing capability. Where that Ram Power Wagon is limited to some 10,000 pounds trailering capacity, this here Rebel is good to some 16.7. We've been quite positive on this generation Ram 2500 on driving.ca, and for 2023, things do continue to step forward. This year, Ram gets full digital 12 inch clusters, as well as your usual Uconnect strings. Other tech goodies include standard blind spot monitoring and optional towing extras, such as integrated brake control and a whole bunch of external camera supports. Underneath, however, is where things get properly exciting. Not just a lifted special, the Ram Rebel equips plenty of underside plating as well as an ELSD at the back. A shift on the fly two-speed Borg Warner transfer case gives you high and low ranges, although this does not equip the Power Wagon's locking front diff. Power is the big news over the Power Wagon, however. Both of these trucks come standard with the 6.4 liter gasoline V8, putting out 410 horsepower, 429 pound-feet of torque. What sets the Rebel apart, however, is the availability of the 6.7 liter Cummins straight six diesel. Mated to a six-speed automatic transmission, that Cummins will put out 850 pound-feet of torque. Final drive, 373 or an optional 4.1. This, by the way, is also the same Cummins that will put out a peak 1075 pound-feet in the Ram 3500. It's a serious engine and one that's quite nearly unmatched in the segment. The 2023 Rebel Heavy Duty starts at just over $78,000 after delivery, but you're probably not gonna be keeping it there. More than just your usual option list, the Rebel offers some very appealing extras. Up in the nose, 6.4 equipped buyers will have the option of a 12,000 pound worn electric winch. Running a modern synthetic line, the $3,000 option may seem a little bit steep, but it's a very appealing bit of kit for those who plan to use this truck as intended. Those looking from the power wagon to the Rebel for towing capacity will also be interested in the optional rear air ride. Augmenting that smooth and steady five link rear end that we've been so keen on here, that air ride affords self-leveling capabilities and is part of what gives this thing its impressive rear bed payload. There aren't a lot of pickups that I could throw a full skid of sandblast sand into the rear of, but this thing does come ready. Heading off-road, all of those reinforced power wagon goodies are doing an excellent job. We haven't felt any concerns up to now crossing some pretty nasty surfaces, and faith in the underbody armor is strong. Better still, we've switched to low range, so revs come easily, and the torque just flows. The 33-inch tires have made pretty easy work of even some pretty gnarly rocks along our path. The 20s look cool, but 18s would certainly afford a softer ride and a little less anxiety about chipping the edges of our wheels over some of these nasty rocks. Credit where it's due, however, even with some admittedly unsettling pitch and roll as we've gone up and down and along, it's felt quite planted. I haven't felt any anxiety about rolling over, tumbling, embarrassing myself. It's just been fine. Visibility is strong and it's easy to plot a course ahead from this high vantage point. However, front over angle is steep. On undulating terrain like this, it can be really tricky cresting some of these hills. Fortunately, this unit is equipped with the front camera. And so I have been able to clear knowing that the truck ahead of me is not about to be in my front bumper. Really, the big news here is the surprising value that I think shoppers of this segment will find here in the Rebel. That starting MSRP at 78 is not cheap, but that's about the price that you pay for a well-spec 1500. To be sure, most buyers would be better served by a 1500. You simply don't need a truck this large in everyday and particularly lifestyle applications. Climbing in, especially without running boards, is a stretch. That said, if you're in the market for something substantial, capable, able to do the fun stuff off-road and some work while you're at it, this is a sharp looking and sharp performing option. For Driving.ca, I'm Al Alder. For more pickup news, reviews, and previews, be sure to follow us online on Driving.ca and check out our socials over on Instagram and Twitter.